Lots of things bug me, and this year especially. Soon, billions of cicadas will be emerging from the ground, and this year, for the first time since Thomas Jefferson was president, there will be two different varieties, one that lives underground for 17 years, and then there is a 13-year variety. It's bad enough that we have to put up with the annoying noise of presidential candidates this year and a cicada cacophony. Remember when we had to use a number two pencil for all of our schoolwork? Now, despite the ubiquity of technological innovations such as laptops and cell phones, they're back. That's right, there's a pencil mania. School kids are crazy about them, and they are now a high status symbol. Teachers even keep an extra supply of pencils for students who need them for homework or even to trade them for candy and some other desirables at school. It gives a whole new meaning to the old expression, get the lead out. Many couples have a lot on their plates, and some of those plates are in dispute about how to be loaded into a dishwasher. That's right, we have dishwasher wars. Apparently, some folks are very demanding and want to load the dishwasher and unload the dishwasher in a very specific way. But other people say, whatever, do I load the dishwasher from the top first or the bottom? How do I arrange the cups and glasses and plates? Should I rinse everything before I put them into the dishwasher? It's a conundrum. My wife loads the dishwasher at night I unload it in the morning, and so far in our 53 years of marriage, we've avoided the dishwasher wars, mostly. That's it. Time's up.